You talking to me? Uh, Coach Yankatera stopping by for a Tuesday visit. You can hear Coach during uh, your, tomorrow. You'll be doing the uh, ninety-seven point three pre and post game show, right? That's correct. For the fan, uh, Coach, you're watching the game out of the corner of your eye. Can we just before we get to uh, everything else, we're going to talk to Padres doing one of those bullpen starts, and once again. Everybody's pitching a couple innings and pitching a couple great innings. Yeah, you know, they've done this, Paul, actually out of necessity because they, they've got Joey Lucchese. He's coming back from a right hip strain. Perdomo was ineffective down in the minor leagues trying to work out some kinks right now. And so this is the best way. Rather than just calling up a guy like they did a couple of weeks ago, Walker Lockett, and then shipping him back the next day, they've gone bullpen by committee. And overall, it's, been a, it's worked pretty well so far. At one point, this team appeared to be on the path to being 20 back or 20 below 500 by the all-star break but just like mark twain once said the rumors of their demise are a bit premature it would appear with the what was it five and a half back or when i last or yeah they're, they're they're playing good baseball although i mean you look at it they started out uh, the month of march 0 and 3 they were 10 and 17 in april they had a winning month in may 15 and 13 they're having a winning month right now but they're doing a lot of the little things that they didn't do early in the year moving runners up putting the ball in play they're cutting down uh, for the most part on the strikeouts and they've gotten decent starting pitching but that bullpen when you get to stammon you get uh, kirby yates and, and brad hand those three guys are just been absolutely spectacular so is this gonna last well, you hope so, but I will tell you this. I think they've done a pretty good job of playing against the East so far, done a good job against the Central, but they've struggled against the, the West. In the West, they kind of everybody kind of beats one another up. They've got only a 13-18 and 18 record right now against the so West. So that's got to change. Adrian Gonzalez cut, cut free by the Mets. Now, it's hard to feel too bad for him. He's still... Going to be making a lot of money. This well, it, it, but is, the, is it the end of the line? Well, it might be. You know, I mean, Adrian got shopped around during the offseason. He went to Atlanta. Atlanta let him go. He ends up with the New York Mets. Uh, you know, Adrian's had an incredible career, an incredible career. You know, I was looking today. He, you know, he played five years here in San Diego. He had 161 home runs. Uh, if he'd have stayed, he'd have definitely been the all-time Padre home run hitter. He came up just a few short of Nate Colbert. But in five years, he drove in 501 runs. All right, uh, I want to call your attention to a piece of video that you wanted to talk about. This is, uh, it's happening. It was a state baseball tournament in Minnesota. Ty Cohen strikes out his childhood friend, Jack Kokan. Uh, you're seeing it right here. Instead of uh, celebrating with his teammates, he goes straight to his buddy who he just struck out in the ultimate act of sportsmanship. Well, a lot of people have taken this a variety of different ways, saying the kid's soft, you know, why, why didn't he just go celebrate with his team? You know, I don't know the relationship that those two boys had. I know they played Little League early on. They lived in the same town. In fact, a lot of these players uh, all played in the same Little League, and there's obviously a friendship there. I can only relate this to playing against my best friend. We were playing college summer ball, and I got two, I was two for three off, and we beat him that night, and when every time I came to bat, his dad was cheering for me, and, and to this day, He's my best friend. Now compare that hug to Cody Clemens of Texas, who <laughs> hits a home run against, was it Texas Tech? No, it was uh, against uh, one of the teams in the Super Regional. Okay, so one of the teams in the Super Regional. And as he goes by the dugout, he gives them the hook'em horns. Oh, time. it was actually Tennessee Tech. Tennessee Tech. Yeah, oh, he do... gave them the old hook'em horns. Yeah. The only thing I can say, having coached at Texas Tech University many moons ago. This is par for the course? That, that isn't... Uh, out of the norm for the University of Texas players. They, they play with a lot of cockiness. Yeah. All right, uh, Reggie Bush is a retirement account. Just got, uh, <laughs> assuming uh, they don't lose on appeal, because I'm sure the uh, stadium is going to appeal, but he just got an extra $12 million for, well, I believe we have the injury. He, got, he hurt himself sliding on the concrete well, watch uh, with the old Dome Stadium. See, I, I don't understand why they would have concrete even remotely it's probably close. Cheaper. Well, probably, but remotely close to the field. And he's not the first guy that's happened to. In fact, uh, I think in St. Louis the week before, it happened to Josh McCown, a quarterback. And Reggie Bush today wins the settlement, $12 million. I'm sure they're going to appeal, but that, that's negligent. I'm sorry. Yeah, and his feeling was he, his, his next free agent deal would have been worth more, but, but because he blew out his knee, it cost him uh, money when he signed with the Bills. Yeah, well, he's a... And he's right. He's a silver pigskin guy. Yeah, well, that, I, he's already set for life, but the, I think it's going to make... Because there are a lot of stadiums that back in the day had issues. You know, the turf was coming up. you got to make the field pristine and safe for the athletes. Well, a lot of times you'll see it in the back of the end zone. A guy will go through the back of the end zone and run into the wall. Yeah. I mean, you know, you gotta, you got to remember, these guys are going at a full board. I hope Reggie is going to serve notice for around the league that, hey, we got to make the, the facility safe. LeBron, is he going to be a Laker? 
Uh, I don't know, that rumor that came out yesterday, Gary Payton, the, the former great uh, Hall of Fame basketball player, saying that uh, little LeBron uh, Jr. is going to go to Sierra Canyon, and LeBron James Sr. came out, shut that down, said, no, that ain't happening, but he's got a home in Beverly Hills. Can you imagine LeBron James playing with the L.A. Lakers with all these great, young, uh, talented players they have? Yeah, uh, yeah, I think uh, uh, certainly. Uh, you worked at 1090 for a long time. The Rams are now going to be uh, on that uh, blowtorch, that 50,000 watt blowtorch. Are there enough Ram fans in San Diego to make that move work? Uh, I don't know, but you know I, there are a lot of great football fans in San Diego, and they're going to be able to listen to the Rams and whoever the Rams are playing. I can tell you, there are a lot of 49er fans, believe it or not, in this town for a variety of reasons. But there you can't, of, the league limits who you can carry. You can't just have the most popular team be in your market. No, right? and they're not going to be the flagship. They're going to they're going to pick it up from a radio station in, in L.A. In L.A., which to me doesn't make a lot of sense for that radio station because 1090's got a blowtorch signal of 50,000 watts. Right, uh, so is it, will it work? Uh, well, time will tell. It all comes down to the bottom line financially. All right, uh, John Cater, everybody, 97.3. You'll hear him tomorrow doing the pods pre and post. Here's what we have cooking on the Tuesday night All Sports Report. Only two District 33 Little League games. So we'll add a little content with Maddie Sinclair, who's got a Challengers Beach soccer story coming your way at 10:45. We hope you tune in. We'll have that and a bunch of other stuff that you can see only here on KUSI. I'm done for now. Back to my esteemed colleagues on the news desk. All right.